am Sharif Islam, music producer and Dubspot instructor. I asked some of my producer friends to be part of an experiment here at Dubspot. We visit some of their favorite productions using native instruments machines. Create custom kits to perform these classics in a new live setting. This is Reclaiming the Remix with Machines. Peace, peace. Welcome to Dub Spots Reclaiming the Remix with Machine. I'm your host and Dub Spot instructor Sharif Islam, aka Tech Machine. Today's guest that I have is, uh, let me see, hmm, music exec, artist, and world renowned music producer, Yogi from the Hitman. What up, Yogi? What's going on, What's fam? Going, man? Give the people some of your background. A lot of people know me from Crew, a group that I had. We had to just another case in. Uh, once upon a time, let's see if I remember. Back in January. Nah, chill, it was December. True, because that's when L started his bed. Party through the new year, January 30th. So we were signed to my boy Chris Lighty, RIP. You know, we were kind of like cousins to the old native tongues because we had kind of like ushered us in and Tip and all of them always had our backs. And then for me, a lot of people know me from doing production with the Hitman. Right. Did a lot of stuff with Black Rob, G Depp, Big Sean. Most people know me for Let's Get It. Yeah, Let's Get It right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude. That started yeah. the phenomenon right now. Right, right. You know, the Harlem that's Shake, the, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the original, yeah, that's original, original Harlem Shake. Him. As dope as the song was, the video that all you guys video you know, was pumped, crazy. it made it even bigger the video was in crazy. that dance, you know, which was, was derived crazy. from that from the record. It started at the basketball games in Harlem. A guy named Al B. R.I.P. he passed, and he would come out onto the court and he would start dancing. He was shaking his shoulders and everything. And it's so crazy because you would come back maybe like the next week, they were throwing music, you would see all the kids imitating him, you know wow. what I'm saying? And it became the Harlem Shake. Of course, back then, that was the first time anyone ever seen the Harlem Shake from that record, from right. that video. What did you use to make the record? It was a, a ASR 10. Okay. I found the organ that felt Al Green-ish. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what made, that it made me go to the Al Green. Love and happiness. Got the intro. Where did you get the organ sound from? It's, 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 I, I can't say. Okay. I can't say, but. <laughs> secret, went, yeah. secret, but secrets, secrets, producer um, secrets. And, and that's, and it's crazy because everybody comes in and it's like, yeah, you know, the organ and the Al Green. You guys know, I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm, but you know, it, and it, and it, and it may or may not be Al Green, but, but, but the, the, the actual organ is not, uh, love and happiness Al Green. Put it together, I had some, some nice, um, some uh, uh, this this drum sound, this drum snare that I thought was different. You know, what I'm it saying? was that, different that was for, kinda, for a part for a bad for a bad yeah, boy record. It, it was a snare. It was you know we was time we were starting to transition into you know claps. I was there like around at Stevie J, Marijuana is everywhere. Things were kind of getting a little bit more clubby. I was using a lot of snares. I wasn't using a lot of claps and things like that. I think you know a lot of the hats and stuff was like Triton. Mm -hmm. Oh, Triton sounds. Triton yeah, yeah, sounds, yeah, right, right. You're selling like Triton yeah. sounds, right? That was 2000. That was like 2000. 2000, yeah. right, right. I remember when um, Pharrell, uh, Yo, the bro. clips, came out. I go by the name I'm of Pharrell push, uh, from the Neptunes. And he took the from the Triton. The Triton. It was a couple of good sounds that people made their signatures yeah. on that jump. But that definitely that grinding one, that was like, and I actually, I didn't find it until afterwards. Of course. I was like, oh. Like, it's right there. Come on, Chad, for real. Come on. But I was like, yo, it's crazy though. You know, I think that's the 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 producer, like the diggers, the you know, the gear has like that's what they they get into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That drives them. It's like, oh, this is crazy. Like, look, he just took that one sound. It just made it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Made a whole record. From you know sound, what I mean? Right. How long did it take you to make the record? At that time, ASR. You know, I'm, maybe about. Maybe an hour, hour, you know what I'm saying? Maybe an hour. What's your vibe on what's going on now with the Harlem Show? You know, Bauer, he did his thing. I like the, I like the track, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely track is electro. <laughs> with Worldwide. Yeah, that, that was a big Le record. Man. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Giving props to you, I did a remix using Machine. It's relatively still new, especially to the hip hop R&B world. Inside of Machine, you know, it, it resembles the MP, the SP12, which she right. was based from. Got my drums, you know, try to match it, what you had there, but you know, bring my flavor to it. So I got a drum kit, right? Once again, Al Green. Love okay. 
and you know after that record, yeah. people know how many times this record has been Something sampled and used in mega hits. Right. Busta, I mean, well, I could go down the list. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was, that right there yeah, was yeah, it. That yeah, was, that was the intro. Right. I was like, I'm gonna let them know out the gate. Like, this is where I took it from. Like, I'm gonna take a nice chunk of the original. Right. Since we're gonna have to clear it anyway. anyway. I was like, let's just take a nice chunk of the original and, you know, let and let it kind of like blend in and it just let it go. Your record is okay. the one that you produce. The original, let's get it. He said, I'm a Rothwaller. And I'm from the Rothwaller yeah. house to Rothwaller yours. <laughs> Silly. That still silly. kills. There's that organic. There's organic. It's, it's like, organic. It's like <laughs> bad wood. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So I got yeah. that. I chopped that up. And I... Let's get it. Make this money. Let's get that. That's what, like my new signature, taking some of that to gotcha. do a remix. Gotcha. You know, so you could perform it live and then. And then I did some um, time stretching pitch shit thing that's on easy it. On here? Actually, it is, and it's um. The algorithms are dope. Like, you know, oh, you don't have to, you know, I remember back in the days with the MP and a lot of the other things, you had to do a lot, a little bit more work right. with the time stretching. Technology has anted it up, you know, right. so. So what I have here is the, the Shake It Honey, you know, this is the G depth, the vocal, right? Original tempo. And so everybody knows Kanye if, of Kanye, mm. but Rizzo was the one who was pitching the vocals up, one of the known people doing it like right. that. Those are my ASR guys. Yeah, <laughs> ASR, Every exactly. Time, yeah. Doing time stretching or pitch shifting, yeah. right? You would go into your sample edit, sample edit in here, right? So. You know, what I like about what Native Instruments have done with Machine in particular, this particular device, that you can do everything really from here. Okay. Which where we come from, we, we sit here in the dark all day and right. twiddle knobs from whether it was ASR or whatever we were using. Right, right. Um, but you know, we got the big screen, so everybody kind of goes here. So it, it does a great balance between that, but most of the stuff you can do here um, on, the, on the actual machine. From the software view, so you know, everyone can see it at home. This is your, you in edit mode, sample editing, right here, so you would click this. Uh, waveform to go into sample editing, edit, right. and this is where you would do your start in your chop or gotcha. trim, trim the sample. And here, software wise, you have all your edit functions, which is normal stuff we see truncate, normalize, reverse, and so forth. But stretch is where you would go. And then this window would pop up, <laughs> yeah. right? The original beat was at 97, at least. Was that's it 97? 97, okay. right? Okay. You know, originally it was probably like 92. Two. And then he sped it up. <laughs> sped it up. Puff. <laughs> Puff sped it up. Yeah. For the club. For, for the, the club. club. You know, Puff was known for that. That's his yeah. thing. It was the club, exactly. So this window pops up, you know, time stretch. So you got pitch, pitch shift, where you can change the pitch right. without changing the length of the music. And then time stretching, where you can time stretch and keep the pitch. Right. You know, you time stretch the beat. In other words, fit it into whatever tempo you want. And keep the pitch. Gotcha. 97 was what it, what, it, what it was because I'm pitch shifting. I don't want to change the tempo of the beat. Mm. I just want to pitch the music up, pitch, pitch the vocals or whatever I want, right. but keep the tempo. Right. So I kept it at 97. I kept the new source BPM is what the original is, okay. right? That was the original. And the new BPM is 97 because that's where I made Machine's tempo for the track, 97. So I kept it the same. These are your stretch lengths. You can change it. In other words, you can stretch the track to fit in a four bar loop or one bar. And you go here and you see, you have all the different uh, musical measures that you can put in one bar, half a bar, quarter, quarter note, what have you, one eighth. But I kept it at four okay. because I took the loop as a four bar loop. Right. All right, so I'm gonna pitch shift this one. Cause I already did it, but, so I kept it that way. I changed up the, I tuned it up, plus five. Kept everything the same, mm -hmm. source BPM, new BPM, I didn't change it, kept it at four bars, okay. right? Auto detection, when you have that on, that's where it finds the tempo, and you hit apply. Oh, you can oh. take that off and put your own. Um, a lot of times, you know, I do that, some people do that, they like to keep it more organic, where they kind of like take right. things, you know, off, they won't be so dead on right. to, your, to your choice. So now. So the fact that I got. Pitch this up, pitch that up, and then pitch that down. Gotcha. Okay. Here goes my version, the Tech Machine remix of uh -huh. 
then let's get it, right? So we got. That Sweet. was <laughs> definitely, right, definitely. Right. Thank you, right, thank so you. That. So, like, let's say if I want to do some, some, some wobble, maybe some dubstep wobbling or something like that. Like, how would you do something like that on it? That's the fun part. There's a sampler page, right? And the sampler page is basically where you do a lot of quick editing on the fly, so to speak. And you have mm. these eight knobs. So, how do you get there? You know, sounds, modules, and sampler, and that gives you to the sampler page. Gotcha. And you always start off with, you know, page one. It's six pages, one of six, and you just scroll through them, through your, you know, your scroll buttons here, All right? So where well, you can do a bunch of things. So as far as the wobbles are concerned, um, the things that you would do in a software, a synth, a machine also has those capabilities. It's not just a sampler; it has those all those filters and things that you would find in the synth, right. right? That you can actually apply to a sample, which that's what I did to to that sound. So the wobble, what I did is basically, I went in to the effects page, which is page three. Mm -hmm. And right here, page three, the effects page, right, effects filter. And so added some compression on it, on the sample. Right, this is how it originally sounded. Right? And um, That's hot. It, it has a compressor, drive, as far as going through drive, so I added some compression, added a drive to it, like, you know, driving an amp. Right. Sample rate. In bit rate, which just reduces it, it makes it dirty. It's digitally dirty or quote unquote emulating analog, mm. uh, you know, distortion or what have you, much as you want. Of course, there's other plugins, but they have this stuff built right here on the sampler page. Nice. Um, right, sample rate. So getting wobble, we teach that in, in the machine course and in the other courses here in, in Dubspot. And what I did is a filter. Added a filter, a low pass two filter. And you have a bunch of filters right there. You can have it off. So off you. <laughs> Right, but when, as soon as you add the low pass filter, so adding that on top of LFO, low frequency mm -hmm. oscillator, so to give it the movement, right? A low frequency oscillator is oscillator waveform that's really low. So low you can't hear it, but it moves things. And there you go right to your LFO destination, page. all in the sampler page. Of course, you can just page through the stuff here on the controller. You have your type, have a sine wave. Right, have sync to sync the LFO movement right. to my beat. It basically locks to the tempo. So you're always on tempo no matter what. Right. The LFO is moving the cutoff. And I gave the cutoff range here. So that's when I got the. I'm going to actually solo this so you can hear it. added some automation. You can automate all your movements with machines. So nice. you see this the speed is basically automated. What you doing, panning or something? What I'm, well, actually what I'm doing is moving, I'm gonna actually, uh, let me get rid of this real quick. Remove it. So what it's doing is, let the wave like. Yeah, it's moving the speed. Automated, so that's what I had that automation basically. Because you would have to normally sit here and do this right, the right, whole record. Right, right, right. To do the wobble, mm -hmm. you know, once you add all those things and automate it, you can automate any movement you want by holding down auto right and changing the knob. So, you know, you hold on auto right and just go back and forth with the speed and then it'll record it. Then you let it 
you go. Okay. Oh, and it goes for the. You did it in a, in a loop. Okay. Right. You did it in a four ball. Okay. Right. Got you. And so you see your automation there. All your movements are moving right there. The speed and basically it's controlling. The LFO is controlling the speed of the range of this cutoff. How it opens and closes. How the filter is being affected. Filter is affecting sound by a sine wave. And you know you can change this. You can change it to a to a to a to a triangle, rectangle, whatever you want from there. And now that's in that loop. The other cool part is you can um, take this pattern because basically it's pattern based. Copy it to this pattern and not have the the, the wobble happen on that pattern. So right. you go between patterns. So to do that, you would just go. I mean, with the mouse control click, just for those you know, copy and then paste it, right? But with the controller, which to me makes it a lot easier, you know, uh, you, can go to, you can go to pattern. Actually, you can, it's a couple of ways. You can go to pattern and do copy and paste mm -hmm. here, or shift split. See four. Like on the MP, you know, you had you know you had the, the pads, but then if, you know the MP they had those other functions that right. when you hold down shift, it becomes right. those other functions. So they have the same thing here. So let's say you hold down that and hit split. Right? So you just copy that to five. Okay. Right? And now if I want to take off the take off take off the automation, you hold down shift okay. and clear automation. Mm. Right? Cool. So now that's five, pattern five. Pattern five, right? Now you go to pattern three. Just pattern three or shift in pattern three? Just pattern three. Okay, now, you know, if I'm gonna use one for like a, the verses, one for the chorus or something like that. Right, right, you want for the, you know, like how we did, you know, in the right. MP is different because they used, um, the MP used the different sequences. Right. Right? Um, they right. do it by patterns and scenes. So, in that, so, actually shift and do. Pattern five has automation, and then pattern three is just regular. No automation. It's just staying right there at the speed. You shift, you split, you know, shift and hit split, and then basically copy it. And you can just take it. So you can keep building like that. Right. So anything you do to one pattern, you don't necessarily have to have it for the whole loop. You can just change things up, you know, on the fly. So in, inside of the sampler, you do mad things. It took me a minute to get used because I come yeah, from yeah, I yeah. Know, old school, but. Once you get it, it's, 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 yeah. it's crazy. Anything, anything new, you gotta, you know. Put some time in. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, can I get you to? Can I? Can I hear one of your your, your flip? Your, your your take on the remix of, uh, of the Let's Get It? Yeah. I mean, you you did a hit already, so it's just yeah yeah. Let's you, you know see what I'm saying. People want to see it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, let me give let me give some a try. Get, you know, All come right. out of retirement for for half day. <laughs> let's do All it. Right. <laughs> All right, cool. I got some of my stuff. I know you brought some of your stuff. We dropped it in here, okay. uh, which we got here on F. Say you wanna get it, let's get it. You say you wanna say you wanna get it, let's get it. You say you wanna say you wanna get it, let's get it. You say you wanna get it, wanna get it, let's get it. Okay, so when you how you stop it, you just shift and mute. Okay. It does like a choke. And you can do that. So what right. kind of version you did on this? Yeah, this is hot. I just, you know what? I just did something real quick. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what I got. Let me see. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you totally took it in a different place with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, Puff. It's back. Play live along with it. So How about you? Let's do I have the, um, the Love and Happiness Al Green. Yeah. 
Nice, nice, don't, 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 don't. This is fun right yeah, here, I like Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so you can see yourself messing with the machine? Definitely, yeah, Definitely. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, this is fun. Um, yo, thanks for coming, man. Thanks, thanks for, for having me. Thanks for your me. knowledge. No doubt. Um, Definitely, I didn't even know about you know Al B. Once again, R P Al B for yeah, the, original, yeah, yeah. the originator of the, the Harlem Shake Dance. Yeah, no doubt. We got Yogi, executive, producer, artist. Yogi, hit me. Dub spot with claiming the remix. Peace. All right. Shed some light on production beat placement or, or music right. placement. You're original. I mean, what's what, what are you here for? You right. know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. To be like everybody else, like just be. You know, original. find that, yeah, you want to be that one, that one of one, be right. that God that finds exactly. that, 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 you know, everybody's like, yo, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. you're the dude that, that, that made that thing, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a great feeling that you're not like anybody else. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.